I'm going to start recording. Uh, <laughs> okay. You can tell Address me. is at 333580. <laughs> Jeez. You know, just like. Hey, just trying to dox you. You know, I mean, that's what friends do, right? See, this is why I don't stream yet. <laughs> like, 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 I've, I've, I've thought about streaming, and like every time I think about streaming with people, I like a cold sweat because like I've had one person scream my social security number. I had another friend scream just scream my address over and over oh, again. I'm like, wait. I'm like, Did I don't actually do that. Yeah, and I'm just like, I don't what the fuck. Like you are like you are here because you are probably most trusted to not <laughs> fuck around oh god. <laughs> oh god oh god how how bad are your friends if i'm the most trusted shit <laughs> it's not good john it's not good it's really not good it's like you put a camera in front of people and they just burn your shit down <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm going to have to disconnect and reconnect again. Do that. Do that now. All right. There we go. I got I got visual. All right. Nice job. That is a very nice job. Yeah, it's symbolic. always the white dog flying away well, I think he hates his because his mom, like mom, image is like a bird, angelic, white. Dad is like in shadow, dark, causing like destroying the world. But like, no, that it's just like a trope with movies and video, whatever in general. True. Like true. The, the, like there's movies where someone gets shot and then there's a bunch of white birds flying away. <laughs> Fucking cowboy bebop did that shit like thirty it's, odd years ago. You know. It's true. It's true. Like, who the fuck did it first? Like, what? Like, oh, by the way, white. we're we're doing Tekken today. Yeah. <laughs> white white dove image. <laughs> we're talking white. about white doves and shit diatribe when it's like, hey, Tekken. Oh no, there's gonna no, there's gonna be tangents. Trust me, it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh oh god, like if you wanted me to stay on topic, no, it's not. You chose you, the wrong person to be with, you, buddy. You won't you won't you won't be able to trust me. I. I have heard things. <laughs> I have heard it. Oh god. Like this. Like this? <laughs> like this? I've heard that this is not just in the opening. I've heard this is a thing. So. Wait, so Law and Paul are fighting each other. So we've got like some Civil War shit going on? Yeah. Apparently. Oh, <laughs> like oh. literally. <laughs> Mom imagery. <laughs> Dead imagery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're just like reliving Harada's like pent up daddy issues, right? Yeah, in the last game you killed your father. In this <laughs> game, guess what you're gonna do? <laughs> and guess what's gonna happen in the sequel, buddy? <laughs> All right, so let me explain what we're gonna do. So, um, last time, viewers. We did Tekken, we did the Tekken 8 beta. That was fun. We, we got a butt speed and kicked some butt. It was a nice go around. This time, we're gonna go through the story mode and see some ridiculous corny fighting game crap. And I have a guest today. Mm -hmm. Guest, introduce yourself. <laughs> uh, self. I, I don't know, uh, I guess go my tag Malofo, but we're just gonna be calling each other by our names in this shit. Cause I, I know it's, I am not going to be calling you Z throughout this. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So we are just doing, we're just doing story mode. <laughs> and just completely ignore everything I just said. <laughs> it's like, anyway, on this tent, we're going to actually do the fucking video. <laughs> well, no, well, well, there's only, well, there's only two of us. So I, I realize like, I don't have to say your name too much, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Well, like, all right. But just like, okay, right there. Read that. Read that right there. Read that. Story, the dark awakens. See, it's already begun. It's already corny before you even hit the <laughs> What's dark corny awakens. about that? I'm good. I'm good at this. I, I, I'm very good at the, the reading. I, I got, I got a, a GED. I can read. Yeah. <sighs> All right. 
Okay, we're good. I'm gonna do that. We learn about the Mishima Saga up until... Uh, uh, I, I guess we'll watch this stuff, because, like, I have no idea what Oh, you have happened. no idea, really? Oh, okay, 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 alright. All, um, all, I, all I know is that, like, Heiachi's dead, and... That's Mishima, important. That's, Mich that's... Mishima's gonna Mishima, you know? Heiachi, Heiachi's dead is gonna come up. That's gonna come up. <laughs> uh, the funny, funniest shit, though, is just, like... I, I showed it to you the other day. It's like, for work, I had to go to a Mishima station. Yes. And I had and you, no you said, idea this fucking existed. So here I am at in the middle like boonies and I'm like Alright, where's the Zaibatsu? Like where the fuck is this shit? <laughs> so, like, am I gonna be thrown off a cliff? There's Mount Fuji, there's a cliff, I can do it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go through this, but like I, I can explain to you tech and story in three three sentences, alright? Alright. My dad sucks. Yeah. His dad sucked. Mm-hmm. And I suck as a father, probably. So. <laughs> so. Very good. Uh, it's a very good father figure here. Um, uh, All right. Here's, here's a problem. Uh, there was uh -huh. no. Uh, Kazuya never had his piccolo, you know? True. Like, he never had, like, the real dad pick up the slack, you know? All he had was the Goku. True. Oh, so that oh, so that's just like per game. Okay. Yeah, I think they just they're just having like cut. Okay. They had something like this in seven, where it's just like let's try and crappily explain what happened in the previous yeah. six games at that point. Yeah. You know, it's it's really funny to see them like put this production values and like yeah the, uh, these cutscenes and everything, and then you go back to the game and you see like the low polys and shit, and they're like, yeah, same thing. No, you wait. You, did, did, so you, you you didn't see Tech and Seven story mode, did you? No. Like, when I, you start, I, when, okay. Right, when you start, I played one, two, and three. Everything in between, I don't know what the fuck happened. Okay, when you start Second Seven story mode, right? The first thing, it's just a cold cut to just a reporter, som somberly talking about his family dying in like Fallujah or some crap. Okay. With like, and he's just in his room, sad. You're like, what is? What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just this reporter's view of like what Tekken is going, what Tekken crap is happening around him. And it was really bad. It was really bad. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at these scenes and I'm just thinking like, history doesn't repeat itself, but it sure does do reruns. Yeah, we can skip all the Okay, basically, okay. You know, you, you know Hihachi. Okay, he... and that's, that's uh, what's her name? Jin's mother? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got all that. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, okay, so she's she's looking like very like happy Mo and motherly. Yeah, mom is that. good. It's, Dad is bad. Be, mom is good. Be like she's figures. <laughs> Wait, ten years later. The fuck? Yeah, ten? there was a there was a jump. There Jin was, a, was ten. Jin was ten in Tekken Three. Are you fucking serious? No, no. I think no. I think he was a child before because in Tekken Three is like where Jin was like first playable. Yeah, but like. Yeah. But that, but that, that image before was to be like she got pregnant or something, you know, and like Jin oh. was born or something, you know, because they didn't show anything okay, about okay, okay, existing okay. in Tekken. Okay, okay, okay. Jin was a child when Ogre attacked and June died. Okay, okay. And so then this, he grows up. Then so the game takes starts. Place between the game. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, 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 all right, yeah, yeah, all right. yeah. Okay. I, I okay. thought it was just. Wait, no, no. That is not a ten-year-old's fucking body. No, I refuse. Hey, unless I refuse you get good, unless you get ten. good, you should have lifted more. That, that's what that's what we all look like when we're dead. Oh god, that's fucking child abuse, man. Like it wasn't the father that trained him to be like that. That was the fucking mother. Like well, she, she yeah, trained him to be that muscle-bound yeah, freak but of a it, child. But because she knows who his like uncles and grandparents and crap are, that's kind of you need to be that jacked in this family. You're probably gonna have to kill your father at some point. It's gonna come out. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, but but still, still, what 10-year-old have you seen that's more jacked than Bruce Lee? <laughs> like, Are there any 10-year-olds like, in JoJo? Because... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. What the fuck? Hey, Achi's using a gun? Oh, you, oh you, wow, you really don't know? Okay, yeah. So, yeah. This is why you need to be checked. Yeah, in Tekken 3, um, 
Heiachi just shot Jin in the face after he won, and that's what released his devil gene. Okay. All and right, then he right. then he flew away. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, for, I don't remember that in his ending. I just remember him. He was the, there. The part I remember was him turning demon and flying away. It was really confusing if you were like ten in an arcade. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so this is all the story that I I don't know. Just take him. Yeah, pretty much. But and you're not missing a lot. The man in the photo was Kazuya. My search for the body led me to start a company called G Corporation. <laughs> oh, please, a corporation okay, okay. sounds less okay. evil. Come Remember, on. G yeah, G Corp is Kazuya's company. That might come up. <laughs> <laughs> might. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. Heihachi threw Kazuya into a volcano, G Corp revived him, cloned him, whatever, he came back. He's good. That might come up. Wait, wait, I doubt. wait. So he's a good guy in this game? That good guy is a fluid concept. <laughs> he, he killed is, a more evil man. He, he is not Heihachi. Yes. <laughs> And now that Heihachi is dead, he is the most evil man. That's how it works. We good? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we can move let's on. Go, let's go with that. Sure. Alright, Tekken 5. Wasn't that the bad one? I thought 4 was the bad one. I don't remember. I thought, no, I think it was 4, like 4 and 6 or something. With a, like the, the black. Okay, so we're like gonna go to... Heihachi death number one. <laughs> so he was fighting Kazuya from the end there and at the start of second five because they just roll on through to the next game. Uh, wait, wait. Mishima bloodline ends here. Yeah, so a bunch of Jack robots. No, a bunch of... He was fighting Kazuya. A bunch of robots named Jack jumped in to fight them. Kazuya just left him there. They jumped on him, exploded, and it was like, he's dead but forever. But he's Kazuya dead. is a Mishima, though. Oh, yeah, Kazuya, like, he doesn't, he's like, <laughs> he, like, doesn't consider, he, like, he, he revoked his Japanese citizenship. He's, like, nothing, you know? Like, <laughs> that's not how the bloodline works, buddy. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so th apparently, <laughs> Jim oh, no, Okay, okay, so in the basement <laughs> where, yeah, where Keihachi had Grandpa chained up, who was also a problem, he was released when the dojo burned down and he survived being in the basement in chains and having muscles yes and big torso yes yes and then Jin, with his company that he i think he took over g corp or something he started to take over the world now total okay. good guy uh, okay, <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, all right so uh, okay so it's not he is still the good guy here less evil guy all right. <laughs> all right. All right. So I'll, I'll bring it all to an end. Okay. Mm. So let, let me right. let me let me save a lot of trouble. So Jin took over the company. Jin tries to take over the world, but he's really trying to like awaken a demon by putting the world in strife, some anime crap, so that he can like kill the demon. And like, I guess stop the devil gene, which technically makes him a good guy if you ignore the lives lost in, you know, war. So he's doing an Aaron Yeager thing from uh, Attack on Titan. Don't say that name. <laughs> that na don't say that. Not here. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you, you got traumatized by that ending, didn't you? I, di I didn't like that show in the beginning. I didn't like that show as it grew more popular, and when it ended bad, I was like, good. Good. I'm happy this happened to you. Uh, I, I was one of the manga readers. Like, once I saw the show become popular, I, like, I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh -huh. And I did enjoy it. Like, I enjoyed it at first, but it, it fell into the same problem a lot of manga go into like especially a lot of like dark manga go into yeah where, where they hit you right in the head right in your face in the beginning about all how look how dark and brooding our storyline is and they bring out all their interesting points and mystery and all that shit right at the beginning 
and they cannot sustain it. Like, nope. they just can't. And I know some people like Attack on Titan and like how it went, but it did kind of meander about a bit, and you stopped feeling tension for characters dying and everything. Like, like in the beginning, it's sort of like all the characters died all the time, nobody was safe. And then they're like, alright, we have our set characters, and these characters will live for a very long time. And it was only until like later arcs where they finally started killing off characters again. Wait, you had no questions but, about the s space laser that. just now? <laughs> there was a, like a fucking crystal demon shit that like he revived for no goddamn reason. Should I, should I really care about like a space laser? You, know? you just tuned out at this point. Uh -huh. yeah, it, it's right. just like, yeah, I mean, sure. Uh -huh. Fighting tournaments yeah. to do this shit and like oh and they're, and okay but have, have, you, have you been have you been paying attention to the time frame though like in the in the past like six months there were like four King of Iron Fist tournaments and this world has been ripped asunder okay I I see they do their Iron Fist tournaments is uh how uh smartphone games and uh, gotcha games do their season. Cool, because uh, I want you to remember that Iron Fist tournaments have destroyed this world, okay? Keep yeah. that in mind as we start the storyline. <laughs> God damn it, Paul, you're in your sh you and your shit haircut, put it back to where it was. You're causing, you're causing rifts in the timeline.